My name's Adam Clark, arable reporter for the Farmers Weekly. Um, we're here at Langer Airfield, uh, about to leave in a helicopter to do a, a tour of some wheat plots around the country. Um, our first stop is going to be Yorkshire. Okay, if everyone's sitting comfortably, we'll get going. Morning Adam, welcome to Yorkshire. I'm going to just show you some of the rust that's developing in this Oakley plot here. Yep. In, down this row here, relatively clean at the end on this lighter soil, but the small foci in here, we have quite a unique infection. I'm going to just show you what's happening here on these lower leaves. See the tips here, just starting to go. Yep. Plastic yellow rust infection. And this will start to build now with the conditions we've got. Relatively dry, got the right temperatures on this light land and this variety, I expect to see that running quite quickly. So this this is uh, gonna have a T0 in the next week? Yeah, this is just in for a T0. Our basic plan is a half rate of follicure and chlorothanol. Yep. That's to help hold the septoria, but also to pin the rust. Yep. But in this particular variety, we may have to raise that rate of that T0. Okay. It's, it's not expensive, and obviously the penalty you'd pay if this yellow rust starts to run in these varieties is too high, so we may have a look at that recommendation. Because yeah. obviously you can get cracking yields from Oakley, but it's just about managing the managing the disease correctly. Absolutely. Yeah. We've got a bridge to build between this T0 spray and T1, yeah. which on this site is approximately the 20th of April. Okay. So there's quite a gap to fill there, and at these low rates of T0, we may have to reconsider and up that yeah. rate, particularly on this one, Oakley, and on the Santiago. Okay, and looking ahead to uh, the T1, um, if the rust risk is still fairly high, would you go in with the strobulurin as well as the, um, the triazole? I think further south, I think growers will probably consider using a strobulurin. It's a sensible precaution on some varieties, particularly these two we're talking about here, Oakley and Santiago. I think for this particular part of the world, I think we'll actually adjust the triazole rate upwards and use a more robust rate of prothioconazole if the rust was really that strong. Okay. However, there are other diseases in this crop to consider and in particular the septoria in the base is really starting to build to worrying levels. Okay um, and th these soils will be quite drought prone I presume? Very much so. We will lose the yield potential of this soil by mid-July. Combine will be in most of these crops by early August so the absolute intensity of T1, T2 sprays to build the yield earlier on absolutely paramount okay yeah and you know if if it if the rain doesn't come and um sort of guys run out of water around here would it be worth cutting back on on your fungicide program um from an economic point of view i think with the development of these crops as they are now on this particular soil they've got quite a deep root so although they'll produce a probably a shorter plant i think to hold back on fungicides will be false economy mm. i think the, the value of these crops now at approximately 150 pounds a tonne the value in investment of a fungicide program is absolutely vital to keep it running. So the recommendation has been a T0 of a triazole with chlorothalonil, um, you know, quite hot, reasonable rates, um, and follow it up with a, a robust T1. 